here we're going to be talking a little bit more about our MailChimp integration to help answer some questions for people. So in the past, we talked about adding MailChimp to capture emails here by going in and grabbing the MailChimp integration and dropping it here. And it really just gives you the option to do email. And that's about it. And this only allows us to have the email there. But what happens if we want to collect their first name as well? Well, the easiest way to do that is to not use the MailChimp integration. Just get rid of the that, that block altogether. And instead, we'll go here and we grab our custom code. Code embed and drop that in there. Then we click on it. We'll get to it here. We embed our code here, get our settings for it, and here's the code to put in. Then we go into MailChimp, log into your MailChimp and click on audience and sign up forms. Under there, you'll find embedded forms. So we're just gonna embed a form into there. And here you can create your form, um, condensed, horizontal, however you wanna have it. But let's say that we just want to use this basic one that they give us with our first, last, birth date, right? We can then just copy the data that's here after you've customized it or stylized it, however you like, drop it in there and save. It then creates our form and we publish it. So that is quite simply the easiest way to use it if you want to have additional things other than just email. Customize an embedded form inside of MailChimp and then put it here on your page. Let's go ahead and refresh this. And there it is. So that would give you the ability to have any of the fields that you want in your subscriber list as well um, to increase your knowledge about your subscribers. Thanks for watching. I hope you have a great day.